Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what you've seen in several months of YouTube channel. So today, I actually dug out a collection, a Funko Pop collection I purchased almost four years ago. So whenever you're a reseller, lots of times whenever you have an opportunity to buy something to resell for a good price, you pick it up. You buy it. And sometimes you don't really have the room or the time to sell that collection or that pallet or whatever you're purchasing wholesale so you've got storage so you put stuff in in the storage and it's kind of like your little your little nest egg for the future a year down the road six months or four years you're like let me pull some back stock out of storage let's see what i got let's sell some stuff so i wanted to find an older funnel pop collection this was the oldest one that i could find that was still in storage so this actually this is actually my ups store label that says this was received on august 24th 2019 so almost four years ago this was purchased so this collection it's actually two pretty good sized boxes i pulled them out um, whenever i originally got this collection in from the seller i opened it up verified the contents put it back into storage you know so I actually don't remember what's really what's in this. I pulled it out. I peeked on top just kind of like this. And I was like, okay, let's go ahead. Let's sell this collection off. So if you're asking yourself, before you even see what's in these, in these boxes, how can I buy this collection? Too easy. My next What Not Live Fungal Pop Auction is going to be this Friday, March 31st, 2023 at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So I auction live on Whatnot every single weekend. Whatnot, as you know, is the number one marketplace, the number one platform to buy and sell all of your collectibles. Funko Pops, sports cards, Pokemon, comic books, sneakers. If it's collectible, you can buy and sell it on Whatnot. So my preferred choice to sell all my pops is exclusively on Whatnot. And if you've never downloaded the Whatnot app, don't worry. There'll be a link in the description box of this video. You can click that link, download the app, it's completely free. Make sure you give me a follow on whatnot. Use my link and save 15 bucks in your first purchase also. So if you want to participate in this Friday night's auction, I'll be doing a live auction. Download the app with my link down below. I always do giveaways during the auctions. We have a lot of fun. I'm going to sell a bunch of pops. I'll, I'll sell comic books, maybe even some sports cards. And if you choose not to watch my auction, feel free to watch the hundreds of other sellers that are live on whatnot pretty much all the time. My link down below, that 15 bucks off, works on your first purchase with any seller. So it's not just if you buy from me, you can buy from Joe, Mary, or Sam. You still get 15 bucks off, good deal, right? Anyway, here we go, you ready to do this? It's four years ago, but it, it was a collection I bought from a, from a collector from Midland, Michigan. Midland, Michigan. So four year old collection. I haven't gone through this thing in almost four years. It was in storage, I just peeked at the very top of it. I saw, a few pretty good pops so i said let's sell this collection so i don't know if this whole collection will be in the auction this friday night uh, probably at least half or so will be in the auction this friday night the other half or so i'll probably put in like the next auction like in two fridays but here we go i'm gonna show you the contents you want to see the contents this on top caught my attention very quickly i'm gonna pull all three of these out so it looks like in this collection you have all three of the Shaun of the Dead Funko Pops. Of course, they're all vaulted now. You can't buy them anymore. What's nice, actually what's really nice, in this collection, everything. Well, this was bought in August of 2019, so every pop will be made before August 2019. So most all these pops in this collection will be four years old, if not older. So you're going to have a lot of... Back in 2019, some of these pops here were probably common pops, but now they're vaulted worth 20, 30, maybe $40. So yeah, first set in this, the entire Shaun of the Dead collection. That's a cool set right there. Keep going. Oh, decent one, Steampunk Batman. That one is vaulted now. I do know that much. Here's a cool one. Not super valuable, but it is vaulted. We have Rose, which is um, Betty, yeah, that's, Rose is Betty White, right? I think so. Here we go, keep cruising. Here's the nice one, it's on right on top. You have the Buffy and Faith, the 2017 NYCC shared sticker. That's a good pop right there. It's worth like 50, 60 bucks, I think. 
when I got this collection, it was only two years old. It's probably worth like 20, 30 bucks. It's probably at least doubled in price in that time. And here's a cool one. I know this one's vaulted. Regina with Fireball. I guarantee that's probably at least 50 bucks, maybe 60. I bet it is. That's that's a good one right there. So you're gonna see a lot of pops in this collection that are like a little bit old. Oh, that's awesome. We got Ben Stiller, White Goodman from Dodgeball. How fun is that one? Very nice. Ooh, Magenta, Rocky Horror Picture Show. That one's also vaulted. I think that one's like, what, 30, 40 bucks, I think? I think, I could be wrong on that though. Oh, here's a nice chase. Tiffany, Bride of Chucky. A lot of horror fans out there. Collect those kind of pops. Let me go a little bit faster. We got two boxes of pops here. I should show everything, right? Anti-Venom. Hot Topic exclusive. That's a 2015 pop. So yeah, that's got to be vaulted. Cool one. Kyle Rayner, White Lantern. Fugitive Toys exclusive. Yeah, a lot of these pops I haven't seen. Ooh, there's Janet Weiss. I think that was worth like 60, 70 bucks, I think. It's vaulted now. This is a 2015. Nice. Let's see. Oh, Peter LaFleur. We got Vince Vaughn Dodgeball. Oh, got both of them. White Goodman and Peter LaFleur. Ooh, I might actually have to hold on to this one. I might have to. Actually, I might have to hold on to both of these because I would love to get Ben Stiller and Vince Vaughn autographs. And these look very good condition through the pop protectors. These might, let me put these off to the side. Those might not be for sale. I might have to hold on to those. Yeah. Sometimes I do like to hold back pops, Mickey, that I might get autographed in the future. And, oh, here's a black, how old is this one? This is a 2019. This must have come out what, mid-2019 or so? Probably right before I bought the collection. The uh, collector probably bought that pop, I bet. Here we go. Next. Oh, nice. Taz Chase Space Jam. That's a good one. That one is vaulted. 2018. Vaulted Taz. Nice. Ooh, Buzz. Add Icon. That's a cool one. Venom. Eddie Brock Venom 2018. I don't think that's even vaulted yet. I don't think it is. That one's probably pretty much still a common. Four years later, it's still a common. Ooh, Space Ghost. That's a good one, 2016. I've had this one before. I think it's like, what, 40, 50 bucks, I think? Space Ghost? I think it is. I think it's a decent pop right there. I uh, See, from when I bought this collection four years ago, I don't remember if this had any big grails in it. I just do not remember. It might have. Trying to think back, I know I have a few collections and storage with some decently sized grails in them when I bought them a few years ago or just recently. Lobo, he's vaulted. He's vaulted. That's a good pop right there. I think I think this this one ever I bought this. Oh, that's a good one. That one's like 50, 60 bucks, I think. Elliot Anderson Chase, Mr. Robot. I think that's actually a pretty good pop right there. 2017. This is gonna have been value. I think that's actually like 50, 60 bucks. That's that's a good pop right there. Um, ooh, Dilophosaurus, Chase, Jurassic Park. That one's probably vaulted. That's a cool one. Let's see. Oh, Zoidberg, Hot Topic exclusive. You know that one's vaulted. People are always asking for Futurama pops in my whatnot live auctions. I got one for you now. I'll make sure, I will make sure and sell this one Friday night because people always ask for Futurama. Next to, oh, that's a, that's not a, this is the common Alex Trebek. We got the Cuphead Chase. This one's going to have been value too, I think. 30, 40 bucks or so. And we have one more in here. Lando Calrissian. This is like just common pop. So first box, pretty solid. There is quite a few pops in this box worth like what? 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks? Wasn't anything, I guess the only like junk pop. Com I shouldn't say junk. Any like common pop was probably the Venom and the... Um, what was the last one I pulled out? The Lando Calrissian. I think those are the only two that were like common pops. But let me box these up. Let's get to the next box, which is actually a much bigger box. Next box. It is much, much bigger. Let's set this thing down. Let me actually kind of take a little peek first at the top of it. Oh, I see autograph pop right on top. Nice. Let's let's get going on this this box. This box is much bigger than the previous box. 
I'm gonna go a little bit faster through this one. Right on top, I saw this autograph pop. This is from Bam Pop Culture, hand signed by Eric Booza. I guess he's the character voice of Woody Woodpecker. And it's Bam Authenticated, okay? And then we got, I'll just keep cruising a little bit faster. We got Yes, that's pretty much still a common pop, I think. Oh, this one doesn't have a pop protector on it. It's like some are missing pop protectors. 2017 SDCC, Five Nights at Freddy. That actually might be a decent one right there. Another one with no pop protector right on top. Ooh, Scrooge McDuck, 2017 NYCC share sticker. That's a good one. Probably a little bit of value to that one too, I bet. Right next on top, we have Balloon Boy, Five Nights at Freddy's, 2017. I have no clue on his value. Some of these Five Nights at Freddy's have pretty good value to them, but I have trouble selling them whenever I actually do try to sell. There's been some in the past that's worth like 50, 60 bucks, 100 bucks that I struggle getting even half PBG value for them. Balloon Boy, huh, <laughs> $17. Not very expensive. Here we go, we got, ooh, Mr. Meeseeks. We got the chase for Mr. Meeseeks. And, oh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's, that's 2015, that's a uh, different. But anyway, I'll say this is the Blue Box Biker Scout Star Wars. The back of it looks like this was pennied out. If you know, sometimes stores like Lowe's, Home Depot, sometimes Walmart, you'll see them penny stuff out on the shelf. And it looks like this pop, God, was sold for a penny. Somebody just, they, they got it for a penny. I bet it's worth 50 bucks now. At least 50 bucks. And that was a nice penny. That penny went way up in price. Oh, there's, wasn't there one of these in the other box? I think there was the Dilophosaurus. I think there was, I have two of those now. Oh, I remember these things, Pooshings. <laughs> Next, ah, that's a nice one. We got Chris Pratt, Star-Lord, Chase. Pretty cool. The stickers are actually starting to peel a little bit on it. Oh well. It happens sometimes with, with, with stickers. Sometimes they just naturally start peeling. Um, can't help it. Next one though, we got Audrey 2 Chase. This one got vaulted. It went up in value. That one's actually decent pop now. 2018. That one's decent. Probably at least 30, 40 bucks. Benny the Ball Top Cat. Oh, this one doesn't ring a bell to me. I don't think I've ever had that pop before. Here we go. Two-pack pop right on top. We got Office Space, Michael Bolton and Samir. Iconic scene from Office Space. That's a cool pop. Oh, this one's vaulted. Gage and Church, Pet Cemetery. That one did get vaulted. I know the actor who played Gage does lots of private signings. I used to have several signed pops of Gage, but I sold them because I didn't really need them. So, anyway. I wonder if there's any um, Last of Us pops and how cool would that be? I just saw a Gear, a Gears of War 2019. There might be some Last of Us pops in here. Those are going to have been value a lot because of the TV show. Some of have seen the TV show. I heard it's really, really, really good though. I've never ever played the game either. So Green Giant, I bet that's vaulted. Let's see. I'm kind of peeking around a little bit. We have an Overwatch. I'm saying some video game stuff. I would love to pull out some of the, uh, what would I just say? The Last of Us. That would be freaking awesome. Gold Chrome Rocket. Ooh. You remember the Gold Chrome Marvel series? They made a lot of the, what is this? Bungie Store Exclusive Osiris Destiny? What in the heck is the Bungie Store? Let's see PPG value on this. I have no idea by this pop. I've never even heard of the bungee store. Have you heard of the bungee store? It's coming in. Whoa. Coming in at 80 bucks. Did not expect that. Did not expect that at all. Wow. $80 pop right there. Guaranteed four years ago that wasn't worth 80 bucks. Oh, nice. We got the Georgie Severed Bloody Arm Chase figure. That one's an awesome one. Pretty sure that one's vaulted now too. Older Han Solo, Snow Gear. Not bad, not bad. Eric Killmonger, Glow in the Dark. Locksmith, Fallout, 2016. That's one thing that's nice here, is like all the pops are older. 
Like there's nothing new. There's 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 nothing recent in the past few years. Everything's like most everything's like what 2014 to 2018. That's kind of fun. I mean, there's nothing that's that's new in this collection. Ripley, Aliens. Here's a good one though. I'm gonna look this one up. Ooh, 2011. We have the OG Elastic Girl Funko Pop. This is like OG 2011 Pop. It's got some residue on the bottom of the box. Start a price tag of nine bucks on it. I'm gonna look this pop up. I'm peeking again. I have to. Got no choice. Got it. Ooh. I just saw another OG Disney pop. So last to girl, it's only worth $47. So I mean, I thought worth more than that, but still almost 50 bucks. I'll take it. An older Disney one. Go ahead and pull this one out. 2015. We've got Mary Poppins. 2015 Series 5 Disney pop. That looks to be in fantastic shape. There are so many Disney collectors when it comes to Funko Pop. Disney Pops are very, very easy to sell. This one's coming. It's only worth a let. It says it's worth $11. A 2015? It's like an OG Mary Poppins. Is that right? $11? Wow. Okay. That's shocking. I thought that'd be like 40, 50 bucks. Here we go, Batman NYCC. Let's see. Oh, we have a Bulbasaur, older Pokemon pop now. From That's a 2019, must come out right before you guys sold the collection to me. Oh, this one's got up in value. The La Casa de Papel, the Chase, the Berlin Chase. This one went up. This has been on the hot list from, uh, what, what's, what's that, that account on Instagram? The Serlent Pops. This has been on a hot list, I don't know how many times. 48 bucks. Yeah, that's that's like one that's constantly seems like it's fluctuating in value up. This one's vaulted, Beverly Nars, Beverly Marsh. That one's vaulted. There's still like two more rows of pops in here. Valor, Fortnite, a little bit of box damage on there. I might give that one away for free. We got Predator Hound. Oh, there's that's the uh, the Fat Thor with Molnir and Stormbreaker FOA exclusive. I think that one's vaulted now, too. Pretty sure it is. Let's see. Pull two out at a time. We got Ash, Overwatch, 2018 Blizzard, Blizzard Con Premiere. Does that have some value to it? We're going to find out. That's one that kind of like, I think could have some value to it. Oh, okay. So this is like the first to market one. From yeah, the sticker one. So this is worth $28. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We got Black Widow Gold Chrome from that Marvel series. Gold Chrome series. We got the the Taurus B.I.G. with the crown. The vaulted Rudy Rudiger. That's a nice pop. We have Alpha 5 Bait Exclusive. That's a nice pop. 2018. Agent 13. Pretty decent shape. Marvel Pop. That's a good one. What else is in here? Oh, we got... Huh. That's an older one. Okay, anyway. I'm peeking down there without even talking about it. Fortnite. Kool-Aid Man. What else do we have? The Pops just like keep coming out. I have one more row left after a few of these Pops. Ooh, there's the Grinch Chase. Dolores Westworld 2017 NYCC. For some reason, I think that one's got value to it. I think this one has went up in value. I could be wrong. I, yeah, 26 bucks. I made it up. <laughs> it happens. We got an older Goku. We got Fallout 76, or no, Fallout 4. Wow, here's one of the OG Tony, Tony Chopper, but not the one everybody wants, which is like, what, the flock one, I think? But it is like the OG 2018 one. This is the cool one right here. Older one, we got 2015 Thor. Ooh, it's got damage on it, though. A little bit of box damage. If it was in a protector, it probably wouldn't be damaged, but older Thor. Captain America, gold chrome. All the ones that are on, on the bottom of this box that weren't in protectors, the backs of them all have a little bit of like 
like not damaged, but they're kind of like pushed in, you know, just because the weight of pops on top of them with no pop protection. Always use pop protectors. Bobby Brady, I know that one's vaulted. It's not damaged, but they the boxes might pop back out over time, maybe. Oh, there's a Angus Young that has the box had too much weight on it. A little bit, a little bit of deformity to Angus Young. A little bit. How many got left? There's a nice one, Vince McMahon. That's a cool one. Then we got Night King, Glow in the Dark Night King 2018. Night King stuff used to sell so well, but how they killed all the Night King was pretty, uh, hurt the value. We got Young Gamora, Avengers, Infinity War, Brave Little Taylor. We have just a few left, like four. This is a good one, Batman Robot, the Batman animated series. That one I'm pretty sure has gone up in value. I've had this thing a few times. Only $16? I guess I'm thinking of other pops constantly throughout this video. Next one, we've got Hercules Glow Chase. That is a good one. That will be highly wanted by somebody. Two pops left, and that is it. We've got Stanley, and we've got Captain Crunch Target Exclusive. So that's everything. So all these pops won't be for sale in just one auction. I'll spread these out through like two auctions. So. If there's any pops in here that you see, make sure you check out my auction on Whatnot app this Friday night, March 31st, 2023 at 6 p.m. Eastern time. I'll make you a deal. Everything that you saw in the first box of this video, I'll guarantee you all those pops will be in the auction this Friday night. I'll guarantee you all those pops will. And then select pops from the second box, I'll put into the auction. So you'll kind of have an idea of which ones will go into which auction. So whichever ones from this second box, that you don't see in the auction this Friday night will be in the following auction. And I know it's kind of bad when you buy collections out and you wait years to actually sell them. But like I said, sometimes it's not bad to have like back stock inventory of goods to sell because you never know what might happen in the future. There might be some sometime in the future where I have no access to buy stuff, but then I've got all this product in storage from years ago that I still have product to sell to keep the business going. So. Backstock's not a bad thing. And with Pops, a lot of them, you wait four years, they go up in value. So this had no major grails in it. I think the most expensive one was probably like, what, 80 bucks? But everything here was older. And I think this will be some pretty cool stuff to sell that you can add to your personal collection in my Whatnot auction. Link down below, download the app, and I will see you this Friday night, 6 p.m. This video was brought to you by the Whatnot app. Download the free Whatnot app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. Funko Pops, Silver Age and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards and participate in live auctions on the WhatNot app.